Hello everyone, it is I, Republic Studs, and welcome to our Winter and Spring 2023 set predictions. Now first off, a lot of you are wondering why so early? Why are you doing this right now? And I like to give a fully unfiltered opinion on what I think could be a set for 2023. Uh, and every year there is an average of like 40 sets minimum. Uh, and we are going to be the, doing the first half of sets, around 20 sets uh, for this uh, particular predictions video. And then we're going to be doing the next one much later on, probably come November uh, for our fall and summer set. So with that said, I'm going to ask you all to hit that subscribe button and we are going to get right on into my Lego Star Wars 2022 set predictions. Now this year is going to be a little bit difficult to gauge because in 2023 we will be getting everything from the Mandalorian season 3 to Ahsoka and the Bad Batch season 2. We also have Taika Waititi's new Star Wars movie potentially which could be huge for LEGO, and I'm going to try my best to assess some related sets for these shows and keep that in mind. Now first up, I would like to start with the return of the minifigure packs. These are the $14 packs, we got a Clone Trooper one and a uh, Rebel minifigure one. So my first one up is the Imperial Remnant Attack. Uh, now this is based on the Mandalorian Season 2, if I had to guess anything. Now I'd include three minifigures here. First off, the Incinerator Trooper. We saw one in the Skywalker Saga. Uh, we have gotten the Mortar Trooper in yellow already, so I feel like it's a matter of time before we get this Incinerator Trooper guy finally. Uh, so, so that kind of just makes a ton of sense. I think we'd also see Death Troopers return. Obviously, they're appearing in Andor too, so they're going to want to have those out on shelves. And then finally, they'll probably throw in a Stormtrooper. I mean, they could throw in Shore Troopers or things like that, but, but honestly, Stormtrooper for it to fit in with Mandalorian Season 2, it just kind of makes sense to me. Uh, you know, you can recreate, say, that final scene where they all assault uh, the bar. Uh, and the builds for this are pretty easy. You could do an E-Web turret and maybe a bit of a shattered building. Uh, you know, or something for them to take cover behind. Nothing entirely crazy. And then the second minifigure pack, I think that will honestly be happening as like the lesser exciting one will be the Tusken Raider Encounter. I know none of them are clones, but this is going to be a $14.99 set. Uh, honestly, three Tuskens make a ton of sense. We could potentially be seeing Boba Fett Season 2 next year. And we also just had Boba Fett Season 1, and Tuskens play a pretty big role in that and The Mandalorian. Uh, so this makes a ton of sense to me. You get three Tuskens, probably exclusive, maybe with the special black printing that we saw in the show. Honestly, the build is probably going to be a mini ballista, the mini version of the one we got in the encounter on Tatooine set. Uh, and then we could also potentially see a mini tent or something. I don't know. We'd honestly have to wait and see. Now, honestly, I think the 2022 main battle pack will be based off of a new show or something that we haven't seen. Uh, so here is my prediction. There, there, there are two I have here. First off, the one I, I like to propose the most is a short trooper battle pack. Obviously, after the Mandalorian, we got a Mandalorian battle pack. So Andor comes out this August. So I wouldn't be entirely shocked if next winter we got, say, an Imperial battle pack for that show. Since we've seen shore troopers uh, in the show, I think, you know, for $20, we get the two shore troopers, maybe an officer, and one special variant trooper. I've heard mud troopers are going to be in the show. I've even heard incinerator troopers may be making a return. Um, so it really depends who shows up in the show. We could even see just another plain stormtrooper in here, uh, but that would be a big one. And then also in the Kenobi trailer, we have seen purge troopers of sorts. Uh, so I think there is a potential for us to see purge troopers from Kenobi. We don't have any rumors of them showing up in any sets, unfortunately. Uh, but honestly, I wouldn't be shocked if we saw uh, those either in that $20 battle pack slot. Now moving on, I have our new 2022 micro fighter. We've been averaging pretty much one a year. So I have one down this year. Uh, and I actually made this prediction last year, and I also think that they're going to raise the price finally from $10 to $12. It just seems like a matter of time with inflation and everything, although I hope they keep it at $10. So at $12, I have a Slave 1 Micro Fighter. Uh, this would come in Boba Fett. We obviously haven't gotten a wide-scale release of a Slave 1. We just had uh, the Book of Boba Fett show happen, and they're still playing catch-up. They did this with the Razor Crest. The Razor Crest came out uh, pretty much uh, a year after it blew up. Uh, so that's unfortunate in micro fighter form. So this is a year after it was really relevant with the show So that's my prediction. It's a cheap way to get Boba Fett uh, and That's really all that matters uh, So that would be a lot of these sets that would be coming out in say the winter 
Uh, now, now we are going to move into what we'd see like come in the spring. So like this is going to be substituting the March sets. Um, so first off, in like this year we got a Dark Trooper attack set. I want to basically make that our awesome, epic, uh, minifigure centered battle pack a slot. Uh, so obviously here I have the 212th Attack Battalion Clone Troopers. Uh, obviously a subsequent replacement of the 501st Battle Pack, which is supposedly retiring in 2021. Uh, we're getting our 212th Battle Pack now. Uh, now this would likely, in my opinion, come with anywhere from 2 to 3 212 Troopers, maybe an air airborne trooper. We could also have room, obviously, for a Phase 2 Commander Cody. I think he is very likely in this set, to be 100% honest. And then, of course, as per usual, two B1 Battle Droids. Now, the builds for this one will be a little tough. I don't think, honestly, they should do vehicles for this. I think Brick Wizard 59 had a great concept here. Uh, and you do a full-on droid fight. You have crab droids, which are things that we all really want to see in Lego form. And I think they could totally do a crab droid for this price range. And another thing, we could see the tri-droid. That was obviously with the Utapau Troopers Battle Pack. Uh, we, we got a tri-droid, so I think we bring that back, bring, make it bigger and better than ever. Uh, and maybe you could fit in some third thing there, honestly. I, I don't mind anything, uh, but with the release of the uh, 212 ATTE from the front of the Sith, it's almost without a doubt we're going to be seeing more 212 troopers, hopefully in the very near future. Um, and you know, again, this is in substitution of the Fire Force Battle Pack uh, in the same slot as the Dark Trooper attack. And I'm pretty almost certain, uh, based on rumors I've heard, that we will be getting one next year. Now this next one is going to be substituting the anywhere from $70 to $100 March slot that has been coming over the last couple of years with the Imperial Shuttle or the Boba Fett's Throne Room. And honestly, I think there is a strong possibility that they make this the $100 Republic gunship. Uh, now I know it's a bit of a stretch for them to go so much smaller with gunships, uh, but if you look in the past, uh, the gunships have always been significantly oversized compared to what they usually are are like in Star Wars, like compared to minifigure scale, you look at this, like they're really tall. Minifigures and characters actually are basically the height of the interior uh, of like the troop holding area. So I wouldn't be shocked if they actually shrink the size of the Republic gunship, make it more structurally stable. And I feel like that fits in perfectly with the $100 ship uh, segment. It also fits in with that minifigure. So I don't see them doing this as a $160 set like a Moff Gideon's cruiser sized the gunship. I see them doing this as a $100 set more in line with the Bad Batch shuttle, or we could even look at the Resistance ITS transport. Uh, now, the difficult thing about this is what theming would this be? Would this be Clone Wars, Revenge of the Sith, Attack of the Clones? Now, ideally, I think in my opinion, I would make it Attack of the Clones, uh, you know, doing Anakin, uh, Padme, Obi-Wan, like just basically have the same lineup as the last one. But since that the ATTE was an Attack of the Clones, uh, I would like to propose the potential for this to be a Clone Wars gunship from the season finale. Uh, so that way we'd fill in some characters we were missing. Uh, so the figures I'd include here obviously would be an Ahsoka minifigure. Uh, we could see a Phase 2 Captain Rex, which I have strongly predicted because there are going to be the new clone helmet molds with holes in the side of the head. So that opens the door for him. Maybe 332nd Troopers, we could see 501st Troopers, we could see the return of the 501st Jet Trooper from the 501st Battle Pack. Uh, we could also see clone pilots. And I honestly wouldn't be shocked if we saw Darth Maul either. Uh, but this is all, again, just a prediction. Uh, you know, we honestly have to wait and see. I'm sure we're getting a gunship next year. It's going to be in this or it's going to be in the summer wave. Uh, so with that said, let's wait and see. Now, usually around the end of April, uh, they usually do these helmet sets. Uh, April going into May. Uh, so la this year we got a handful of good ones. Uh, and I want to do the first one I have right away uh, at $59.99. It will be an AT-80 pilot helmet. I feel this was in the works for this year, for 2022. They actually were, There actually was a rumor that this was going to happen, but then that ended up falling by the wayside. So they might have it in the plans. It'll just be coming later. So I think it probably end up coming this year year early on. Uh, and honestly, it just makes a ton of sense. It's one of the few Imperial helmets we actually haven't gotten. So I wouldn't be shocked in the slightest 
if we got this guy. Another one since Andor is coming out, of course, uh, the Death Trooper. I feel like that's kind of a no-brainer. Obviously, great. Now we know they're going out of the original trilogy. They've done the Mandalorian. Uh, so I think a Death Trooper is the next logical step to go there. And again, and another one that I honestly see is a great one after Andor and everything, and I'm sure that show is going to be widely popular, uh, a Shore Trooper helmet. That is, I think, a very likely possibility. I think less likely than the other two. Uh, and I know this is disappointing. I, more than anyone, want to see clones, but I'm just not confident uh, that they're going to do clones. And I feel like if I theorize a clone, th then it's actually not going to happen. But if I don't theorize it, then it will happen, because that's how logic works for some reason. But anyway, that's my rationale. I hope you guys somewhat agree with it. So you guys remember, we got some pretty epic LEGO Star Wars 2022 display quote sets. Uh, so there are some quotes uh, that I think would make a ton of sets sense. Uh, you know, I don't think we're going to get three because that was the kickstart of a line with the quote set. So I think we're probably only going to get two from 2022. So here they are. The first up will be at $60, $59.99, since the Death Star plans retrieval. This is the scene where Leia gives R2-D2 uh, the Death Star plans. Now, this will be a hallway build, honestly. It'll look kind of like the compacted trash compactor. Uh, if I'm being honest, that probably makes the most sense. Uh, the figures, again, are Leia and R2. Uh, the quote, I guess, would be, help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. Uh, that, that makes a ton of sense to me. It's original trilogy, iconic, obviously, and they want to get all of that out. Uh, and I'd, I'd probably go for that. Another one would be at $80, so in the same price range as, say, the Yoda's Dagobah training. Uh, I'd honestly put the Twin Sunset. Now, the way they do this, and this one's a little tough, because, like, how are you going to do the Twin Suns? I think they do a wall build, something like the Death Star Trench Run, and then you just build the suns on it, and then you have the sky kind of like tiled off, and then you have Luke look out on it. I don't know what a quote would be for this. Um, these are your first steps or something like that. I, I don't know, honestly, what quote would, would uh, relate there. Honestly, if I had to choose one, it would be Obi-Wan Kenobi's You've Taken Your First Steps Into a Larger World. I know that wasn't from that scene, but that was a very, you know, quiet scene. There was not a lot of words. Uh, but obviously, I would have the sons there. You could have Luke stand. Uh, you could also have probably the Lars Homestead. We managed to fit Yoda's whole hut on a uh, model, so I have little doubt that they could do the first ever interpretation in minifigure scale of the Lars Homestead, which quite honestly would be very exciting. And maybe you could do a dual build where you turn it into Amperu and Uncle Owen's skeletons. That would be kind of funny, not gonna lie. And just saying right out of the gate, if they do decide to do a prequel one, it will be Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon versus Darth Maul. Just throwing it out there. Also, I completely forgot to come up with a May 4th promo for 2023, so for whatever reason, Dex's Diner has been thrown around there a bunch, so I'm going to throw that out there as a possibility. I don't think they're going to do that because they need to do an exclusive Dex mold, so I'm less confident. Honestly, I'm going to throw this out there now. Uh, one I'd like to see, though, is a Jedi Council chamber or something Jedi Council related, specifically involving either Yarl Poof or Yaddle. I don't know why, I just have an inclination it's going to be one of those characters. They're obscure, they're random, people wanted them in the Skywalker Saga. Just want to throw that out there. Now, what will be the May 4th UCS set? Uh, and, and honestly, I'm going to go for another one, and it's going to be kind of boring, so y'all are going to be kind of disappointed, but I think it's going to be the Thai Bomber uh, at $200, maybe $220. Um, and it's not an exciting set, but it has been promised by LEGO after the... Uh, gunship vote where they had that and the Nebulon up. I don't think the Nebulon's going to be coming out next year. It could, uh, but honestly, I just think it's going to be the Thai bomber set, two hundred dollars. It's pretty much a no-brainer. It's a cool-looking model, uh, and, and you know you could get some epic Thai pilot minifigures. Honestly, I'd like it if they threw in an exclusive Imperial commander in that build, and they could even do Tarkin. Uh, and you know that's kind of there. And I know it is a staple of this prediction series for me to mention uh, a blue Captain Rex's Y-Wing. I will not go a single one of these without mentioning that, at least as a possibility. So I want to throw it out there as a set. Maybe we can see it in a winter wave, but honestly, I'm gearing it more towards a summer wave. I think that's what it's going to show up in if it shows up at all. So either way, I hope this was a somewhat realistic and pragmatic uh, LEGO Star Wars 2023 set predictions video. 
Uh, you know, it, there's a lot of stuff that goes on with LEGO Star Wars, and it's never going to be exactly what we want. But if they do this, it would be fairly solid. We are obviously coming off of a great wave, assuming all the summer rumors are accurate. Uh, and we still have some great sets on shelves, like the New Republic fighter tank. So don't worry, guys. You have plenty of things to spend your money on, uh, whatever they may be. And if I have about a 25% accuracy rate with this predictions just out of the gate, I'll be happy. But either way, with that said, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you all in the next one. Remember to peace out and stay tuned for part two.